Welcome back to the restaurant show. We're already sizzling over here. Yes. We've got things happening, and I'm joined now by Chef Peter Lidstrom, who is from Tuscany Grill. Love it when you come because, oh, you. woo, not only is it exciting, <laughs> but it's Fire also delicious. Going. Yeah, I don't know. They probably can't see how exciting it is over here with all the little pops and things <laughs> happening. But pleased to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. So we have some fun things in store for you today. It is about to be a little bit cooler outside. We're yep. ready for some of those comfort foods. And one of my favorites, of course, is pasta. And that's yep. what we're doing today. So tell us what's on the menu. I'm going to make a pen and primavera. Primavera, primavera. I'm going to make this one little, like, the vegetables that okay. you should make it right now. It's with everything you can get from your garden. But I'm going to okay. do it with what I have. Peppers, Peppers are good. All colors. So you just start. We've already kind of preheated there. Yep. But you Dropped a little oil in the pan, and that's what we're getting yep. rained on today. A little bit of oil is sizzling, yep. it's working, it's doing its thing. Mushrooms are next. Onions. And onions go in. Okay, so we're just sauteing everything to get it started. Yes. All right. All the vegetables here. And vegetables. Uh, heirloom tomatoes. Mm -hmm. This is all. Garlic. Oh, gosh. These are delicious ingredients you can get over at Tuscany. If you haven't been, Tuscany is a fabulous restaurant in Fitchburg that is part of the Wyndham Garden Hotel. So you do not yes. have to be staying at the Wyndham Garden. Go to no. the restaurant and enjoy Chef's delicious dishes and Absolutely. everything I've ever had there has been outstanding. Yeah. So and I'm we, excited for this. We try to make the restaurant also stand up so more like it's not just a hotel restaurant, it's a restaurant by itself. Yeah. So it's like people can come from outside and should come. It's Absolutely. Just, good. No, really. You should go. It's Salt really good. Salt and pepper now here. <laughs> Okay, salt and pepper. Yep. And we're just gonna saute those a little bit. Yep. Okay. Now, is this? I understand your menu is always changing. That's one thing that I think is great because yep. you make sure that you change with the seasons and change with the taste. Yep. But you have a menu change coming up. Is this on your new menu? This is on the new one. This is okay. pasta primavera. I mean, we can do that. What I'm gonna do tonight? I'm gonna do it with tomato and cream sauce, like a marinara cream sauce. Mm -hmm. You can make it with marinara sauce. You can make it with cream sauce. You can. Add beef, add chicken, you can do everything in pasta from there. That's so this is a it. really versatile dish, really, yes. for what you're feeling. So exactly. red sauce, white sauce, whatever kind of meat you'd like to add, really. Yeah. Chicken, shrimp, beef, yep. whatever your cup of tea. Yeah. Okay. And when, now in October 1st, this we're changing the menu up to a, for like a fall winter menu. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to a little more heavier dishes and what's good for the winter time. And now so. this is a little bit of a Mediterranean style yeah. as well. Okay. And what does that mean, you know, for folks at home? What I, kinds of dishes can they expect? Everything around the Mediterranean, like uh, Spain, Italy, France, Greece, Morocco, everything from around there. Mm -hmm. We try to make dishes from all the countries around the Mediterranean. So you can take a little Mediterranean tour without yes. spending the big bucks. You yes. just head down to Fish Hat. Exactly. And then have a few dishes. Uh, now I'm going to add some more stuff here. Okay. White wine. A nice sizzle. Okay, so a little bit Always of white wine. wine. Does yep. it matter? Wine? What do you use? Uh, usually you like a dry white one. Okay, it's good. dry wine. Yeah. And a little lemon juice. Lemon juice, okay. Get a little taste there. No, now, do you measure list. everything out? This is a chef question for you. If I measure it out. <laughs> do you? No. no. So you're, I, you're an eyeballer. You know, I, I eyeball it. That's a, the shot sign of a true chef, I've been I doing it for so long, so yeah. <laughs> I don't you have time. Know. Yeah. <laughs> it would take forever if I would go <laughs> measuring stuff. No. See me, we would be measuring everything, but yeah. I enjoy how you're able to no. do that. And now yeah. I'm going to add the marinara sauce. Okay. I'm going to make in the house. Oh, you add that right into the veggies yep. and everything. Okay, great. Goes right in, heats right up. Yep, we're going to let this sit for a Not his first time, he's got the foot down, that's for sure. Yep. And talk to us a little bit about some things that are happening, not only at your restaurant, but down the way you guys are actually opening another yes. location. Yes. Uh, Wyndham Garden and the Tuscany Grill is with the Kenwood and mm -hmm. also it's a new restaurant open up down the street from us called the Thirsty Goat and that's uh, going to be that a name. smokehouse <laughs> with smoked brisket. You can buy brisket by the pound wow. and take and have it by the table and stuff and it's going to be a broasted chicken and everything's going to be like to have a smoker there that can fit for seven pigs in it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a huge wow. smoker, so we're going to smoke everything on site and everything is this dry rubbed. This is kind of a unique style, I didn't yeah. realize. Okay. It's going to be like you can already sit at a table and say I want five, five pounds of br beef brisket and you get five pounds of beef brisket with sandwiches, fill it up and eat. Wow. And That's also there's going to be um, a brewery in there too. They're going to open up later on. The first time I open up like the restaurant part of the smoker and stuff like that. And they have like 25 TVs in there, and it's 
everything is brand new. I think you're speaking to a lot of folks out there. I heard meat, beer, and television. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that sounds like a great stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. And it's a big place too, isn't it? It is big. It is yeah. big. Yeah. And I'm mean, like I said, everything now is everything is brand new. So it's like, it was a restaurant here before called Casa de Sol, but yeah. The Mexican team is all gone and it's all brand new. It's a whole so new place. Yep. Wow, what an experience. I can't wait till that's open. When is that opening? That's soon. Uh, Monday the 26th. Okay, of really soon, right around the corner. So yeah. that's really exciting opening now, depending on when you're watching. Yeah. But uh, this is fabulous. This looks delicious. So yep. what do we have left on this dish? What we're going to do now is like we have two things, so three things actually. Mm -hmm. We have the beef and the chicken. We can add two. Okay, so we you're also have combine. shrimp. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Now it's uh, actually a, a vegan dish because there's nothing in there, but now True, yeah. we make it to a vegetarian dish. We'll put some cream and then you can serve it like that with the cream in it. See, this is a little bit of a mix then. Yeah. You've got a little bit of a cream yep. and a little bit of a, a red sauce combined. So if there. you like both or can't decide, yep. this is what you can do. Exactly. And then after that, if you don't like that, if you want meat, then you add the meat. And if you want a little more meat, and you add a little bit of steak. Chicken. Yeah, a little bit of chicken. Mm. It smells so good. Wish you could smell this. It's amazing. Well, I have never had a dish that has disappointed over at Tuscany. We're almost out of time, but this looks yeah. phenomenal. And put it on a bed of penne noodles. Yes. And we're good to go. I'm going to finish this dish right now here. Delicious and wonderful. Now, some of the menu is actually going to be a little bit larger. I yes, it's going to be larger. Grow, we have growing. Right? There was a lot of stuff that we took away during the summertime. Mm -hmm. That people are complaining they want back, so we're bringing back a lot of stuff. You know it's good. You know you've got favorites when people are coming in and looking for things. But yes. Wonderful. Okay. Well, so the goes this right in there. Quick here. And then we toss this big thing. This is the part that I would be making a mess, yeah. and you just do it so flawlessly. I'll go here and put it down. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Well, make sure you yeah. go visit Tuscany Grill. Uh, off of Fish Hatchery and coming soon, or maybe even already open, Thirsty Goat. Yes. Another really unique place to go have some delicious food. Chef Peter Lidstrom, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back. I'm going to eat this. Let's go. Yeah.